Ada for leaving my wife because she wants to be a foster parent for her nephew? My wife and I have been together for seven years. She is 52 and I am 43. When we first met she told me she was a widow and had no intentions of getting married again. Two years later we got married lol. We also had a pretty extensive conversation about children. She has a son who is grown and living on his own, and she told me that one child was all she ever wanted. I have no kids and no desire to have children. I truly enjoy my freedom, my wife and I travel several times a year and I love just not having that responsibility of taking care of a child. I'm an uncle to eight kids that's enough for me. I can always pick them up and drop them right back off when it's time. We had multiple conversations about this early in our relationship, so I thought the matter was settled. My wife's niece is 20 and has four kids, with another on the way, all different fathers. The last two are twins. She is basically a deadbeat mom, the kids live with their grandmother, my wife's sister. As you can imagine four kids is a lot to deal with. So apparently my wife and her sister hatched a plan to have my wife take one of the children. So not only has she changed her mind on the kid thing, she is taking one of the twins, splitting them up. Even if I was okay adopting slash fostering a kid, I think splitting up twins is crazy. Even the DHS worker didn't like this idea. However, the two older boys, 5 and 3, are too attached to where they are now. So it's easier to deal with the twins as they are only 10 months old. I told my wife I was strongly against this. Having a kid will completely change our lifestyle, and I didn't sign up for this. Also, we live in a upper middle class neighborhood while the sister lives in one of the worst areas of the city. It's really messed up that one twin would have a privileged life while the other twin will grow up with very little resources. Also, where the hell is the kid going to sleep? We have four bedrooms, I tore down the connecting wall to one of the bedrooms and made a huge master suite. The second bedroom I turned into a massive walk-in closet for my wife who is a clothes horse, and the last bedroom is my office. Although I have a day job, I also have my own business that needs a dedicated space for me to work from. The basement is my man cave. The house is set up for just the two of us. Even though the house is pretty big we don't have room for another human lol. So despite my constantly telling her this didn't work for me, what does she do? She just shows up one day with the kid. I tried y'all, I put together the crib and put it in the master suite, have the car seat in my car, even went shopping for the boy. I just can't do it. Last weekend I wanted to go to the Virgin Islands just to get away, she can't go because DHS has the kid set up for so therapy appointment. So I say okay, let's go to the shore before summer is over, she can't because she planned on taking the kid to see his brothers. I'm just done. I took my go bag to work with me and am planning on staying at an extended suites hotel. I understand she doesn't want the child in the system because it's too much of a burden on her sister. But, I didn't make that baby, and I don't want to take care of any kids at all. Am I the a-hole? The house is in my name not hers but I'm scared now, because if I leave she might have rights to my house. I just don't know WTF to do. I thought I had the perfect life with her and now it's just. I don't know. Sorry if this is long I really needed to tell somebody and get this off my chest.